Imagine if characters from One Piece were Pokémon, so which type of Pokémon they could be. This is second part, let's explore what types of Pokémon the members of the Straw Hat crew could be. If you haven't seen the first part where I discussed about which type of Pokémon old generation could be, be sure to check it out after this video. You can find video in the card or in the comments. But before we start, I've noticed that many of you watch the videos but forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Making these videos requires a lot of effort, so I kindly request you to show your support by liking and subscribing. I thought we could reach 1000 subscribers by the end of this year, but it seems unlikely with the current support. Please continue to show your support and appreciate my efforts. Now, let's kick off the video. We're starting with the leader of the crew, Monkey D. Luffy, who wants to be the Pirate King. If Luffy were a Pokémon, he might be associated with the fighting type. This is because Luffy is a powerful and skilled martial artist who primarily relies on hand-to-hand -hand combat. The fighting type in Pokémon is often associated with characters that excel in physical combat, and possess great strength. Additionally, Luffy's determination, resilience, and never-give-up attitude align with the fighting type's characteristics. As for his imagination power, there isn't a specific Pokémon type that directly represents imagination. However, if we were to consider a type that might be associated with creativity, or unconventional abilities, the psychic type could be a fitting choice. Psychic type Pokémon often have psychic and mental powers, which could loosely connect to the idea of imaginative thinking. Now let's talk about the right wing of the future pirate king, Roranoa Zoro. If we consider Roranoa Zoro as a dark and steel type Pokémon, it would reflect his characteristics and combat style more comprehensively. The combination of dark and steel types could capture his intense and disciplined nature as well as his exceptional swordsmanship. Dark, steel Pokémon are often associated with a combination of stealth, power, and resilience. This typing would emphasize Zoro's strategic thinking precision in combat, and his ability to endure tough situations. The steel type would symbolize the strength and durability of his swords, as well as his resilience in battles. Now let's talk about the chef of the crew Vinsmoke Sanji. He is a cook and a fighter known for his swift and agile kicking techniques. If he were a Pokémon, he might be associated with a fighting type due to his combat skills. However, considering his fiery personality, especially his attacks involving fire, a fire-type Pokémon could also suit him well. A hybrid fighting and fire type might encapsulate his essence, reflecting both his martial arts style and his fiery nature. Next, we have Jimbei. He is a skilled fishman martial artist and helmsman, known for his fishman karate techniques and his proficiency in using the water to his advantage. If Jimbei were a Pokémon, he might be associated with the water type due to his fishman abilities and his connection to the sea. Considering his martial arts skills, a fighting type association could also be fitting. A water and fighting type could capture the essence of Jimbei highlighting both his aquatic nature and combat abilities. Now let's talk about the navigator of the crew Nami. For Nami it was difficult to pick her Pokémon type. Nami is known for her navigation skills, weather manipulation using her climb attack. If Nami were a Pokémon, she might be associated with the electric type due to her manipulation of weather patterns, often using electricity-based attacks through her climb attack. Additionally, her resourcefulness, intelligence, and ability to chart courses could also align with the psychic type, reflecting her mental acuity and strategic thinking. A hybrid electric and psychic type could represent Nami well, combining her weather-controlling abilities with her sharp intellect and navigational expertise. Now let's talk about Sniper of the Crew God Yuzup. He is the crew's sharpshooter and a skilled marksman known for his creative use of weapons and gadgets. If Yuzop were a Pokémon, he might be associated with the grass type due to his love for plants and his skills with the Green Star, a type of ammunition he uses in his slingshot. Additionally, his proficiency with ranged weapons and his sniping skills could align with the normal or even the flying type, considering his often aerial tactics and use of projectile-based attacks. A combination of grass and normal or grass and flying types could represent Yuzop well, showcasing his botanical knowledge and his skills as a marksman. Next we have Doctor of the Crew Tony, Tony Chopper. He has consumed the human, human fruit, allowing him to transform into various forms, each with its own unique abilities. If Chopper were a Pokémon, he might be associated with the normal type, reflecting his base form as a reindeer. However, considering his ability to transform into different forms with varying abilities, a case could be made for a dual-type Pokémon. For example, a normal and ice type could represent his initial reindeer form and his ability to transform into a larger, more powerful form with ice-based attacks. Alternatively, a normal and fighting type could capture both his cute, initial form and his more powerful, combat-oriented transformations. Next, we have Nico Robin. If Nico Robin were a Pokémon, she might be associated with the psychic type. 
Robin is known for her ability called the Hana, Hana no Mai, which allows her to sprout multiple limbs from any surface as well as create copies of herself. Robin's intellect, knowledge, and archaeological skills might also align with the psychic type, as many psychic type Pokémon are depicted as highly intelligent and possess mental abilities. A psychic type Pokémon would capture the essence of her intellectual and strategic capabilities, as well as her somewhat mystical powers. Next we have musician of the crew, Soul King Brook. He is a musical skeleton with the power of the revive, revive fruit, allowing him to come back to life after death. If Brook were a Pokémon, he might be associated with the ghost type due to his undead nature and spectral qualities. Additionally, his musical abilities and swordsmanship could align with the ghost type or the combination of ghost and normal types. This combination could capture both his ethereal nature and his musical and combat skills. Finally, we have Frankie. If we imagine Frankie as a Pokémon, he would probably be a steel type. This is because he's known for having a lot of metal parts in his body and being good at building things. In the Pokémon world, steel types are tough and often good at defending. They also have moves related to technology. Because Frankie is also energetic and likes creating big explosions, we might also give him a secondary type, like fire or electric. This would show his lively personality and his ability to make powerful attacks. So, a Pokémon based on Frankie could be a mix of steel, representing his toughness and technology, and another type that shows his fiery and energetic side. So, friend that's for today video. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the comment you can suggest your own Pokémon type for each Straw Hats. But before you go guys once again, I am requesting to show your support.